I want to bring it to an end with a very powerful parable. It's so intriguing. It's, to me, one of the most intriguing parables that Jesus ever taught in Matthew 24 at the end of the chapter. And he basically contrasts two servants. So on one side you've got the wise servant, and on the other side you have the wicked, evil servant. And the wise, they're both given their orders, entrusted with the stewardship to be found faithful when the master returns. But the difference between the wise servant, the good and faithful servant, and the evil servant was simply this. The wise servant lived and worked every day with the anticipation that his master could return at any time. So when the master did come, the master found him doing and said, good and faithful servant, blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Assuredly, I say to you that he will make him ruler over all of his goods. Good job. Because he, he, he was like, he can come back today. I better be found busy about the things of the kingdom to please my master. So I'm ready when he comes. Then you have the evil servant. You know what he's thinking? (laughs) Come on. He's not coming back. My master delays his coming. My parents, my grandparents, my great grandparents, my great, 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 great grandparents thought Jesus was coming back and he hasn't come back. Party on! No, that's what he does. Because (laughs) no hurry, no worry. I'm sure you've heard that fictitious account very, very good about this emergency meeting in hell. Satan calls all the demons. We got to do something. We're losing ground to the kingdom of heaven. They're taking ground from the powers of darkness. What are we going to do? Demon pops up, says, I know. Let's start a campaign. No heaven. Satan goes, no, that's not going to work. All creation screams of a creator. Another demon pops up and says, I know, not no heaven, no hell. Now Satan says, that's not going to work either. There's innate within every man this knowledge of good and evil. So Satan says, Here, here's the deal. Here's the campaign. We're going to, and this is going to work. It's not no heaven. It's not no hell. It's no hurry. No hurry. No urgency. My master is delaying his coming. Let's just have a party. He beats his fellow servants. He eats and drinks with the drunkards. And then the master comes. Ho! I didn't think you were coming back that soon. (laughs) That's kind of the point. And that master came on a day when he was not looking for him, and at an hour that he was not aware of. I share that to say this, the Christians who have the lightest touch on this world and the things of this world are living their lives with the anticipation that the Lord could come back at any time, and He can, and He can. And conversely, the Christians who don't are the ones who believe, are deceived, Oh, he, he delays his coming. Listen, I try to live my life as your pastor, as is my privilege to be, with this expectancy that he could come today. I'm as ready for him to come today as I would be if it were not 10 years from today. <laughs> Please don't let it be 10 years from today. But I'm, I'm going to be ready if it's not. I'm going to occupy till he comes. I'm going to be, be found faithful. To whom much has been given, much is required. I want him to say to me those words we all long to hear from the Savior's mouth, well done, good and faithful servant, enter in. Oh, I can't 